Members, the time has um, expired for the urgent debate. Would some honourable member care to move that the House take note of miscellaneous business? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, well, it gives me great pleasure to rise in the House, and it's a red letter day, but what I'm going to talk about this afternoon is well, I thought I'd sort of talk a wee bit about the state of the House. I thought it would be a, a good time to reflect on what's been happening, and I must say, I extend my sympathy Thank to you. the Labour Party. They're losing one of their brightest business brains, and I bet they are feeling pretty gutted about that. So as David Cunliffe goes off to another career, um, they'll be uh, ruining that, and they'll be quite worried about it. Um, in the meantime, what we've seen with New Zealand First yesterday was a laudable attempt to reintroduce their caucus to the public of New Zealand. They left out a couple. They left out a couple, but nevertheless it was a fairly sort of, not even generic, it was a bit of a mishmash, um, a bit of a mishmash, but they mostly got on their feet and asked a question and no one was quite sure whether there was a plan or whether the plan was just to work through the names. When it comes to the Greens, well right now I think they're actually in relationship building. They're not sure if they want a relationship with New Zealand First, even though it might be necessary. They're trying to build their relationship with Labour. Nevertheless, they have um, a new member and a fairly new co-leader, and the relationships there just actually don't look to be gelling just yet. But never mind. Maybe um, best described as jugglers looking for a circus, or actually today what we saw was catastrophizing which I suppose is better than what we've had in the past, which is a crisis searching for a crisis. Um, but never mind. New Zealanders, New Zealanders are much more interested in the things that really matter to them. And the um, um, better public services are certainly things that are important to New Zealanders. The New Zealand national government has picked some really tough targets. And we are having some success, but there's not a moment that we can be resting on our laurels because these tough targets require us to keep at them to achieve them. I just want to talk briefly about BPS Target 1, and that's helping New Zealanders to gain independence from welfare. It's gone down um, 15,000 people since um, 2011. That's actually a future liability for New Zealand taxpayers of $3.6 billion. But there's a much more important thing about this liability going down, and that is the New Zealanders that are gaining a better life for themselves. That's 51,000 New Zealanders um, that are actually now off a main benefit since 2011. That's right. That's a phenomenal change that in their right. lives. So it's gone down from 295,320 to 279,769 oh in the last God. result. Now, why does it matter? Well, if you're a child in a benefit-dependent home, this is what it means for you. You have a 48% chance of not achieving NCEA level two, yep, compared to those who are not in a benefit dependent yep, house. In fact, you also have a 48% higher likelihood or chance of being notified to child, youth and family. These are the facts. This is not a label, this is a fact. So having these child children in a non-welfare dependent household makes a very real difference to them. And then 45% of them are going to end up on a benefit themselves, therefore limiting their life choices. I want to also talk about today being a red letter day when it comes to the Household Labour Force Survey, because there are some real highlights we should be celebrating. Fewer unemployed women, down um, to 5.1% from 5.4%. The unemployment rate for Māori is 10.6%, down from 12.1%. For Pacifica, 10.1%, down from 12.3%. That really matters. That means a change in the lives of those New Zealanders and their families. A new measure showing underutilisation fell from 12.7% to 12.2%. And if we're talking about those 15 to 24 year olds who are getting out into the employment world, who are not in employment educational training, it is um, up very, very slightly. But you know what? There are lots of initiatives there. And the important thing is that we are measuring and working on this. So 
we're reducing long-term welfare dependence, supporting vulnerable kids, increasing the proportion of 18-year-olds with NCEA Level 2, and those 15 to, uh, 25 to 34-year-olds with a Level 4 qualification or better. Reducing crime. These are the things that really matter to New Zealanders that clearly are not on the radar of the opposition. That's right. Very good. Oh, great speech.